Welcome to our deep dive into two pivotal economic concepts, inflation and unemployment. We'll start by defining what inflation and unemployment mean. Inflation is the rate at which the general level of prices for goods and services rises, reducing the purchasing power of currency. Unemployment occurs when people who are willing and able to work cannot find jobs. Here's where it gets interesting. These two concepts are deeply interconnected. Understanding this relationship is crucial for grasping how economic policies are crafted and implemented. As we progress, you'll discover how inflation and unemployment impact our economy and explore the balance policymakers strive to achieve. Keep watching to uncover the intricate dance between these forces and how they shape our economic landscape. Let's begin by diving into inflation. Inflation, at its core, is the silent thief of purchasing power. It's the rate at which the general level of prices for goods and services rises over time, gradually eroding the value of money. There are several types of inflation, each with unique characteristics and impacts. Demand pull inflation occurs when demand for goods and services outpaces supply. Cost push inflation stems from rising production costs, passed on to consumers as higher prices. Built in inflation is tied to adaptive expectations, where workers demand higher wages to keep up with living costs, perpetuating a cycle of price increases. Economists measure inflation using indices like the Consumer Price Index, CPI, which tracks changes in the price level of a market basket of consumer goods and services over time. Grasping inflation is fundamental to understanding the larger economic landscape and its effects on our lives. As we move forward, you'll see how interconnected inflation is with unemployment. Unemployment occurs when individuals willing and able to work are unable to find jobs. Unemployment isn't just a singular concept, there are various types with distinct causes and characteristics. Cyclical unemployment happens during economic downturns when there's a lack of demand for goods and services. Structural unemployment arises from changes in the economy that create a mismatch between the skills of the workforce and the needs of employers. Frictional unemployment refers to the short-term period when people transition between jobs or enter the workforce for the first time. Economists measure unemployment using the unemployment rate, the percentage of the total labor force that is unemployed but actively seeking work. Grasping these basics helps us delve into the nuances of unemployment and its broader economic implications. As we proceed, you'll see how unemployment interlinks with other key economic indicators, setting the stage for a comprehensive understanding. Inflation is a complex phenomenon influenced by several factors. Demand pull inflation occurs when demand for goods and services exceeds supply, driving prices up. Imagine a scenario where consumer confidence is high, leading to increased spending and higher prices. Cost push inflation happens when production costs rise. For instance, if the price of oil surges, transportation and production expenses increase, leading businesses to raise prices. Built-in inflation is driven by the expectation of future inflation. When workers anticipate higher living costs, they demand higher wages, compelling businesses to raise prices to cover these costs. These forces create a ripple effect, continuously influencing the overall price level. Understanding these causes is crucial for grasping the broader economic picture. As we move forward, you'll see how these factors impact daily life and the broader economy. Understanding the causes of unemployment helps us navigate economic challenges. Cyclical unemployment arises during economic downturns, where reduced demand for goods and services leads to job losses. Structural unemployment stems from fundamental changes in the economy, such as technological advancements or shifts in consumer preferences, rendering certain skills obsolete. Frictional unemployment is a natural part of the job market, occurring as workers transition between jobs either by choice or necessity. By recognizing these distinct types, we can tailor solutions to address the underlying issues. As we proceed, you'll see how these causes interconnect with broader economic impacts, shaping both policies and personal experiences alike. Inflation is more than just rising prices, it profoundly impacts both the economy and daily lives. 
Firstly, inflation erodes purchasing power, meaning as prices increase, the same amount of money buys fewer goods and services, making essentials more expensive. Secondly, inflation affects savings. Money saved today might be worth less in the future, reducing the real value of savings over time. Finally, interest rates are closely tied to inflation. As inflation rises, central banks may adjust interest rates to control spending and investment, influencing everything from mortgage rates to personal loans. Understanding these impacts highlights the importance of keeping inflation under control. As we proceed, you'll see how unemployment also plays a significant role in this economic balancing act. Unemployment has profound impacts that extend beyond losing a source of income. Economically, high unemployment rates can trigger downturns, reducing consumer spending and weakening the overall economy. Socially, communities with high unemployment may experience increased crime rates, reduced social cohesion, and a decline in quality of life. For individuals, the psychological toll can be severe, leading to heightened stress, anxiety, and depression as they navigate joblessness. Understanding these effects is crucial in appreciating why addressing unemployment is essential for both economic stability and societal well-being. As we move forward, you'll discover how inflation and unemployment intertwine, influencing each other in complex ways. The Phillips curve is a powerful tool in economics that demonstrates the inverse relationship between inflation and unemployment. It shows that as inflation rises, unemployment tends to fall, and vice versa. Originating from the work of economist A.W. Phillips in the late 1950s, this curve has been a cornerstone in understanding monetary policy. It highlights the trade-off between inflation and employment. However, this relationship isn't always straightforward, especially during periods of stable or low inflation. As we proceed, You'll see how policymakers navigate this delicate balance, fostering economic stability while mitigating the adverse effects of inflation and unemployment. Let's explore how this theoretical framework has evolved and its real-world implications. To curb inflation, governments and central banks use several tools. Monetary policy is a primary mechanism involving the regulation of money supply and interest rates to control price levels. By adjusting these levers, central banks aim to maintain economic stability. Fiscal policy, another critical approach, includes government spending and taxation strategies to influence the economy. Effective fiscal policies can help manage demand and stabilize inflation rates. Supply-side policies target the underlying production capacities of the economy, including measures to increase productivity, reduce business costs, and enhance market efficiencies. These approaches form a comprehensive strategy to manage inflation. In our next segment, we'll explore how similar measures can address unemployment. Stay tuned. To address unemployment, governments have several powerful tools at their disposal. One effective approach is implementing job creation programs designed to stimulate sectors with high growth potential. Equally important is investing in education and training ensuring workers possess relevant skills in an evolving job market. Providing economic stimulus can boost demand across various industries, creating new employment opportunities. These measures can reduce unemployment and strengthen the economy's resilience. As we move forward, studying these solutions in detail will reveal how strategic policies lead to robust job growth and economic stability. As we reach the end of our journey through inflation and unemployment, let's recap what we've learned. We explored the definitions and types of both concepts, delved into their causes and effects, and examined potential solutions. Understanding these economic dynamics is essential for making informed decisions and shaping effective policies. The relationship between inflation and unemployment impacts not just economies but individual livelihoods. By deepening our knowledge, we equip ourselves to navigate these challenges. We encourage you to continue your exploration, stay curious, and keep seeking knowledge. Remember, staying informed is the key to staying ahead in an ever-changing economic landscape.